Man, this is so hot today. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Who is happy, who has questions, who's, <laughs> who's boiling? <laughs> what's up, Peter? How are you, brother? He's, he's much better. He, um, uh, unfortunately with him, um, uh, <sighs> unfortunately with him, he's developed some water in his lungs. Um, so it, it, it caused, uh, an infection. So they couldn't do the procedure they wanted to do. Uh, the second procedure they wanted to do on him, they he has to. They have to get that to dry out, or somehow I don't know. I'm pretty sure you know that you know that's a very difficult task to do. So yeah, so we gotta wait till next Monday. And now he's out of the hospital, but he has to stay seated and he can't walk and you know create sweat or anything because it might add more to and keep it moist inside. So it's a very 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 all over the place kind of thing but he's 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 with us so that's good appreciate the uh gesture brother and yes i am enjoying amc at this price uh you know i was been telling everyone like look if you'd seen red you haven't seen it yet last week a week before that um the most important part is we got everything we need low prices across the aisle everywhere anywhere you look wherever you want to look mr panulo how are you doing brother so wherever you want to look we're good hold on let me close this window wherever wherever you look across the aisle everything is is, is, is very low uh good prices ready for you to you know do whatever you got to do again i'm not going to give anybody any financial advice but you should be enjoying this guys like i know that some uh, you know peter is maybe mario is um but you know everybody that's in this family in this community you guys are all to be loving this <laughs> whimsy chick that's that's an honor for me thank you thank you so much uh you're you're part of the family now so <laughs> always a pleasure to have you in here so yeah so like everybody i'm pretty sure everybody should be really excited and happy like right now wherever you put your money besides blue chip stocks you're you, you can't go wrong again not giving advice here but and the reasoning for what i'm saying as far as the blue chip stocks is because blue chip stocks are always very secure the only time they're not secure is when the company that's holding it or the companies let me let me rephrase here the companies that are holding it happen to also be doing illegal shady stuff on the side and they're over leveraged on many other positions similar to meme stocks so the difference here is the blue chip stock by nature is supposed to be the secure company the secure place for you the safe haven where you put your money and you only worry about it going up never down or staying the same that's that's what that's why they call them blue chip stocks for but in rare occurrences once every blue moon or <laughs> once every 12 to 15 years something similar to what's happening right now happens and what what it is is those companies even the blue chip stocks become victims unintentionally like un undirectly but only because they're in the market somebody's been playing around too much they've been wiggling their tail illegally <laughs> and you know since they're over leveraged on their positions with so many other uh meme stock positions or short positions whether naked or real whatever it is they're over leveraged so when the when when they need to pay for their bills or to cover it's it's as simple as they have to come up with the money nsc 10-2021 uh, uh, was taken out pre like you know postponed until september so could it be the fed telling the all these hedge funds and banks to go F themselves. I doubt it because, you know, they've already been on secret bailouts with the banks since 
late 2019, since before any virus cases came around. So I don't think they're leaving him out hang, hanging uh, to dry. But one thing for sure we know is all blue chip stocks right now are victims to this madness. If people think that AMC is down, like look at it. We were like over over from year to year. I guarantee you go ahead and look at all blue chip stocks and see which one had better returns between AMC or any of these comp blue chip stocks over a year span. It's simple. I did it the other day and you guys seen it. The closest person was like, what, 20, 30 percent off. Um, and that was like Amazon. And you see how they're getting hammered. And this is why I love it. This is why I love it. It's because when these companies obviously are selling off, we have one next big thing, which is we got the fact that they get margined. They have to liquidate positions, which is what we were seeing across the aisle. And the kind of liquidation they're doing, it's not like the first round has gone through right now. We're still to see more madness to come and, and, and to happen. It's, 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 that's what I predict, of course. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Again, I said my sec third level of support for AMC was 861. Um, I don't see us touching that, honestly, even though we just tapped into the nines toward the end of this uh, trading session today. But I don't see us going under uh, 861, honestly, if, 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 if it, that's if it goes there. Um, if it doesn't, hey, it's, 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 if it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> we, 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 we've been around for a whole year and a half. Some cases like me, uh, it will be almost two years in September. It'll be two years in September. So I don't think it's gonna last that long. This is it, people. This is it. I'm not hyping anyone, but you know, I've been telling you before, any other creator out there or anyone else, I was leaving cryptic messages and all that stuff, still have them, um, to tell you what, 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 like, you know, and, and, and kind of prepping you for what's coming. You've seen it. All, everything I've been telling you has been happening in accordance to its order, you know? People were labeling a week ago, drop was like the drop. And I was telling you, if you see in red, if you think this was red, that was nothing. Wait till next week, which was about this week, and you see what's happening. And right now, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we see another violent dip, um, like like almost equivalent to this whole week, all in one uh, trading session or two trading sessions. Uh, almost halting possibly like don't be surprised if we get to a point where we see the S&P 500 or the Nasdaq or the Dow Jones get shut down the whole like circuit breaker for the whole market one trading session because you know all it takes is drop for it to drop 30 percent or higher in one day which is by the way that's like that's catastrophic <laughs> 30 percent in one trading session or more in the S&P 500 of a drop or a NASDAQ, that's, that's, that's like scary, scary catastrophic, not just catastrophic, but scary catastrophic. Um, you, you can only imagine if you look at the S&P 500 or NASDAQ and see where the numbers are. And if they drop in one session, 30% or more, you know that what that means, that means all the other stocks that are tracking these index funds are also dropping 30 40 percent in one trading session which is why they implemented that rule to automatically shut down trading for the rest of the trading session on that uh if, if such occurrence happens um i wouldn't be surprised for that happening in fact i anticipate it happening at some point i anticipate it happening um people are selling off this is not something they climb back up from uh quickly this is this is the beginning of that downturn before the tr the true nastiness that we're really like toward the end of this year around uh, Septemberish. That's normally that's actually what I think we're gonna really hit the true cap of this recession that we're heading toward, and it's gonna like like we're gonna meet it and no more shock by September. Like we're, right now we're dealing with the shock. 
but September is going to be where it sets in, where we swallow that pill. Um, and then 23 and possibly 24, you know, those two next years after that, we're just going to be going through a lot of rough time where everybody has to be patient with the other. Um, now, of course, you lucky uh, son of a guns are all going to be uh, away from all this madness, uh, probably in the Caribbean somewhere or in some Fiji island or something. But that does not mean you're going to be heartless and not look forward or look out for people back here. Because trust me, guys, a lot of people are going to lose their pension funds. A lot of people are going to lose their 401ks. And think about not the young. Think about the, the well, we're going to have to think about both. But I'm going to tell you why we're in for some terrible times. And unfortunately for the old, if they're almost around that time of retiring, if they're retiring this year or next year, or even the next within the next three four years i feel really terrible for them because and if they're not in this play with us they're just like random joes that are going to work every day and you know they're expecting to retire next year or two years from now to go in uh you know <laughs> to go in their retirement and grab their 401k that they've been doing great at every year taking out money putting in like you know on a on paycheck to paycheck putting so much and then eventually that happens in the next from now to the next four years i feel really bad for these people there is nothing that can, can happen for them but get stomped on literally and the worst part is for the young literally the young i mean come on guys social security and all that stuff that stuff should have been done long time ago because if you understand how that system works, you know, it, it, that system, in order for it to work, it requires a lot of babies being born so that the old can be relying on the young. And when the young becomes the old, they rely on the younger generation. But we're dropping that baby boomer uh, generation is done or era is over. People are having much, much less kids now. And plus, mindsets have changed. Even the younger crowd, they're not all... Like, the mindset now is all about... And this is honest truth, guys. You guys all know this. Um, it's The mindset now is to work smarter, not harder. Whether it applies in some cases or not, I know. Trust me. I've seen both sides. The, the case where people utilize it out of laziness and they really don't, just don't want to work, but they use that example. And there is the side where they really are smart, they really just want to use, work smarter, not harder. Uh, they're not using it as, as an excuse. But either of those two is terrible, spells terrible for future. Because what is this social security system and all these uh, other, uh, you know, like insurance payments and whatever, Medicaid and all that stuff? Man, we're heading into some crazy times, people. We are heading some into some crazy, crazy times. And it's just so crazy and amazing to know that you guys are in this place because you're not going to need any service or any help or any of that stuff. You're going to be the one dishing out the help rather than asking for it, which is good. Um, I expect all of you guys to do something and give something back to the community uh, in your own outright. At the end of the day, it's your own business. Uh, what you do with your money, what you do with yourself is, is all up to you. And no one has the right to tell you you should have and you should not. Like this crap that's going on around by people sh having to show their positions to prove that they're not bots or whatever. All my community, all my family in here, you guys don't have to abide with this dumbness or this madness. Uh, that's that woke culture crap that is suddenly coming up, booming, where some people or someone can start an agenda and now people in the masses have to work with it or agree with it um, by force, which violates their rights. You don't have to share anything with anyone and no one has to approve of you because you investing in your own company, that's on your own. Plus, no one can prove that whatever you're showing is really true. Bots have gotten through to Reddit and showed pictures and videos and whatever and it was all fake and plate people so the real exciting thing right now to look at is bitcoin look at it look at the fact that it's in the twenty eight thousand dollar range and i was excited to see 
um, that fake, um, uh, that fake 20, you know, like that, that pull up where they went up 6% or 5%. And then next thing, you know, it went all the way back down. And now <laughs> it was just a little consolidation zone. And then now back down, um, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. People. I'm going to come back at you in a second. I'm going to go ahead and drive home. You see, as you can see, I'm sweating. It's hot. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to shower. I'm going to change. And I'm going to come back on for you guys for another quick 15, 20 minutes. Save up your questions so I can answer all of them when I get right back. All right. I need to charge my phone as well. Um, oh, whimsy chick. Can't wait to, for shopping for blue chip stocks in a couple weeks. Oh, oh, oh. you're going to have fun shopping for blue chip stocks because you know there's only one way they're gonna go afterwards or sooner or later for now they're gonna be going down but sooner or later they're gonna go only back up and it's gonna be easy so yes i i agree with that on the last baby crash spy was 228 on 32220 i i i can see something like that out of nowhere man that's gonna be exciting for us to see to watch it happen unravel in front of us while we believed in it while ev the whole world was going against us that's gonna be crazy to see that nervous switch from <laughs> yeah big b it, don't worry about none of this madness or these people out there they, i mean at best mind minds that speak like that at best probably holds what 100 chairs 200 chairs and not not to look down on anyone or any of that but to speak stupid stuff like that and uh, try to convince people to do stupid shit, I don't. I'm not down with that. So you, you, <laughs> you do you guys. Yes, Adrian, we did hit it. Jeffrey, Mijo, how are you doing? All right, let me. I'm expecting AMC starting to go up tomorrow. Breeze. That's a possibility. I doubt it yet, but it's a possibility. Um, all right. So keep it in your mind, guys. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, all I can tell you about your comment is it's all good. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm going to see you guys in about 15 minutes, okay? So stay stay woke. <laughs> stay, stay, stay around. Stay afloat. Don't sit out in the sun. Unless you're trying to get a tan. And yeah, I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes, all right? And Adrian, save all the jokes. AB Investments. Okay, I didn't even.